Okay, so hi everyone. This is Nestor again from Oragon Channel or Oragon Lab, Pinoy Australia. So today guys, um, we'll be discussing about one of an important topic which might help uh, our fellow migrant and overseas nurses who just finished their bridging program for the last one to two years and who's actually looking for their first nursing job and sponsorship here in Australia. So if you guys have a spare of like five to ten minutes of your time, I suggest you guys have a look onto this one. Anyway, um, just to give you guys a background for those who are um, first timers to actually uh, go and watch on today's vlog. My name is Nestor and uh, my background is intensive care nursing and again I've been here in Australia for the last eight years and I've been an, an Australian citizen for the last four years. So anyway, let's go directly to the topic. So um, as I mentioned earlier, the topic for tonight is um, tips for our um, overseas nurses who's actually looking for their first nursing job uh, and sponsorship here in Australia. So the first tip that actually written down here is um, I suggest that you guys expand your network when you actually start um, studying uh, here in Australia. So I, as far as I remember when I came here in 2011, um, I don't know anyone. I don't have any relatives or any friends in here. I've got only two um, batchmates with me under a certain agency back in the Philippines. There, there were three of us. And uh, we studied under um, College of Nursing at that time. Um, it's well known now as Australian College of Nursing here in, um, here in Sydney. So we were lucky enough to actually get to know uh, several fellows or Filipinos uh, there were like six of them, so nine of us in total, and luckily uh, we got the chance to know um, a certain uh, student from somewhere, I think, in, in the Middle East, and he knows someone who owns an agency, um, a nursing agency, um, so he um, introduced us to the owner of that agency, and luckily um, that agency um, assisted us. Um, to get our first job here in Australia. So what I'm saying is it's very important to actually um, widen your network. Like if you've got some friends or relatives here or families or any, um, you know, far friends. Um, I mean like um, your old friends from back home in the Philippines or from somewhere. Uh, it's, it's, it's better to actually get in touch with them because they might actually be able to assist, assist you and give you some tips uh, for some hospital which are still um, giving sponsorship or um, is um, looking for any um, nurses in, a, in, in their hospital. So that's my first suggestion. Going to the next one, uh, which is a vital one as well, um, is make your curriculum vitae or your resume and your cover letter shine. So it's vital or it's very important that when you actually apply for a job to make sure you've got a very good CV, a good resume and a cover letter because this will be the initial um, impression that the employer will be able to um, uh, read from you guys or have a look um, if you're actually somehow qualified for the preliminary screening. Because um, surely there will be a lot of applicants, like for example for a one job position, probably there might be 5 to 10 people who will be applying for this job and they might only, give me, uh, they might only need two, um, two individuals. So it's better for you to make a good impression already on your um, CV and cover letter. So I suggest um, if you're not familiar on how to properly make a very good CV and cover letter, um, you guys can always have a look in, in the internet and um, have a look for some examples or guidelines that might assist you to make uh, a better CV. Anyway, the third one is look for job listings that actually fit your skills and experience. At times, we've got this mindset to um, just apply to any um, nursing position that is available online or any reference um, or any, any job that um, your friends have actually mentioned. But it's very important that you actually consider if those jobs would actually fit in your skills and experience. Because I believe that there's no point 
in applying the dispositions which would most likely you know um, won't give you um, any edge at all like uh, for example if you're applying for um, like a theater nurse or um, um, an IC nurse and you don't have any background in cardiac or intensive care um, it might be a bit harder for you to actually get into that job unless they, the employer really need one because for sure they'll prioritize those people who has uh, some sort of background or experience into that um, specialization. So I suggest um, try to just focus for now on those listings or job listings into several web websites like um, seek.com or um, into the um, what's this one state website like for example here in New South Wales you know the um, New South Wales Health probably um, yeah, with other states as well have a look on their main website for their job listings the fourth one is uh, be ready and be prepared for your interview so once you get an email or like a call from the employer that you're actually um, sort of pass their preliminary assessment um, they would schedule you for a job interview so make sure before that um, job interview try to be prepared in everything like you know try to get to know the um, the institution the hospital institution where you plan to work um, one of the best thing is probably get to know their mission and vision um, which um, uh, surgeries or um, specialization um, they actually you know um, specialize with like for example if this hospital specialize with a um, heart transplant or lung transplant might as well try to study something about this um, these cases and get to know the institution um, for example if you're applying for a job in uh, in a certain unit um, try to study what are the possible um, cases that might actually be asked of you um, like usually um, they will ask you like an average of five to six questions like when I had my interview um, in several um, uh, healthcare institutions here in Australia I was asked like a couple of uh, questions about um, medical cases surgical cases in intensive care like three to four questions and another questions about you know um, conflict management and uh, occupational health and safety all of these things so just try to get ready and uh, be prepared for um, all these possible questions that you might be asked and lastly never get frustrated and lose hope because it might take some time for you to actually find a job especially nowadays it's not actually easy to actually get um, a job especially um, uh, with the hiring um, supply of um, new brands so they actually uh, now try to train these new brands to be their um, future um, nurses at the bedside because they actually um, can easily be trained and a bit cheaper I guess so it would be best if um, you actually never get frustrated and lose hope because um, time will come then you'll be able to get the job that you've been um, looking for okay so again guys just to summarize what we've discussed uh, I've mentioned five tips that might actually help you um, make it easier for you to find your first job and sponsorship in here, here in Australia so just to go back again number one is try to expand your network so that you've got a couple of people um, um, around you that might actually help you find a job and uh, do some reference for you um, for that uh, application to be successful second make sure to try to um, make your CV or cover letter and answering those um, selection criteria um, very well so that um, your chances of actually uh, getting into the um, second stage of the uh, application which is the interview uh, would be feasible and uh, third Try to apply uh, or just focus on those job listings which would actually fit your um, skills and qualifications. And uh, third, just make sure be ready uh, for your um, future job interview. And lastly, but the, one of the most important thing is uh, never forget to don't get frustrated and lose hope. Because um, to be honest, it's just a matter of time. 
uh, that you'll be able to find the job that you've been um, dreaming and aiming for. Again guys, uh, finding a job here in Australia um, wouldn't be that easy at times, uh, especially with a couple of reasons like the influx of our um, new grads who are doing their training in uh, in several units and at times being absorbed but uh, just remember that you guys have the experience you've got an advantage because you've been the nursing workforce for a while so usually the employers prefer those with experience so um, as much as possible I suggest just try to stick with the five tips that I've actually mentioned earlier um, and uh, I think the main key is uh, preparation and having the right confidence uh, that uh, sooner or later you'll be able to find the job that you've been aiming for. Again, this is Nestor from Oragon Lab, Oragon Channel. If you guys like the video, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, I hope I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.